Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're talking about channels. We've talked about the top area here, which is about the overall picture and things you can do with that. This area here, which is about the layer and what you can do about that. Now we can look at the bottom area here. This here talks about the pixel selection. If I right click it, so I can invert it just the same as doing Control Shift I. I can select all, which is the same as Control A and deselect which is the same as control d and toggle quick mask which is the same as q which so there are shortcuts here but you can do things by different ways and you can use the menus at the top you can also do cre create spare channel which we're going to do in a moment but so let's first get a selection i'm going to take the, the selection brush here and that's about right and i'm going to select so over here to get the sky back of that there we do and alt click there i'm going to go quickly through the refine there we go and i'll just paint over that and then those oh that's good enough i'll just you know I'll just finish that one off there we go okay so we're selecting these yes we could do more up there but we're just trying to stick to the time scale. So there I've selected the sky and it's in here. You can see a bit of how that's selected there. But if I right click on this and I say create spare channel, then I've got down here it says spare channel. If you click on this, it doesn't do anything. But if I right click, I can go to rename. I can say that sky. So now I have saved the selection containing the sky. So I'll hit Control D on this, and now select the train. So I'm going to paint over this, get this you know, roughly in here, and you could refine this as well. There we go. And a way to another way you can do if you just do a hard selection, if I go select and feather, I'm just going to type in here three pixels or slight fade on the edge of it fit in a bit better and say apply there and now i'm going to save that as, as again another way of saving it just to show the different ways i go to select save selection and as spare channel and it's created one down here exactly the same as doing it from here so i'll right click I then rename that as train then I hit control d to get rid of the selection now I want to select all of them. I can hit Control A or select all. And so this is selected everything. And what I'm going to do is right click on here and I can now say subtract from the pixel selection. So there I've subtracted the sky, right click this one here and subtract. And notice I can do all sorts of combinations of this. I save subtract again so I'm going to subtract that so now I've just got the land left so I can now right click on there say create spare channel right click on the spare channel and rename that to land now I've got the three parts of the picture saved as selections control D to get rid of the marching ants so now I could say adjustments apply curves but I haven't got a mask on here. Suppose I'd like to put one in. I can just go to this down here, right click on that, say load to curves adjustment alpha, which is that curves layer there, and it's now put this in. So now I change this, I'm just changing the sky because it's put a mask into that. So let's put that one down there. I go back up here, let's put another curves layer on and we can do right click on the train load to curves adjustment alpha now let's say i go to red and let's just make the train a bit redder there we go see that's adjusting the train and reselect the layer each time so we're going to create a curves what I could do is another way of doing this actually is if I go to the land here, right click on the land and say load to pixel selection, I'm putting the selection in first. So now when I put in a curves, 
it will automatically pick up the what is selected as a mask and so now I can do say an S curve to adjust that so there we go very quickly we have created different down here stored selections so that we can put back and can turn into masks at any time and this lets us do jigsaw puzzles with the picture and use these and combine selections and all sorts it's a really useful little thing and it's dead easy to use okay that's it for now and thank you very much for watching